So, Apex Legends is, is coming out with a update tomorrow at the recording of this video, which is 6 2020 whatever. So anyways, there's the update, so let's check it out. Here's on the website. Lost Treasure Collecting Event, we're bringing tons of exciting blah 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 blah. Who cares about that? Armed and Dangerous. Armed and Dangerous is a limited time mode, has evolved. It is the LTM, only shotguns and snipers are allowed. Yeah, okay. You also start with a Mozambique and Evo armor. Hell yeah! All other armor has been removed from the loot, and it's not all respawn beacons also will be removed, and all players will start with a mobile respawn beacon in their inventory. Cool! <clears throat> so I'm guessing this is a respawn. Oh, here it is. Here's the respawn thingy. Need to respawn on a go? Use the new mobile respawn beacons and armed and dangerous LTM. Players will start with a match in with one in their inventory. Then from the inventory screen, deploy anywhere on the map, save your fallen teammates, but beware. Calling your net respawn beacon takes time, giving your enemies time to find you. Take you out. The use of the beacon just you just deployed, so find a safe spot before you call it. Alright. According to Jez, who got all crybaby, she said, Ooh, they're taking all the respawn beacons out. Motherfucker, if they do that, they killed their whole game. They were not going to do that, you dummy. Second of all, stop following Instagram accounts that put fake information without real information, man. So, I think that's a cool idea, but the fact that it's for a, a limited time event, I think that's okay. If there is something like that, it should be a very rare item. Like, I'm talking like gold item rares, that's where it should be. And I think maybe one or two should be on the battlefield. And it should take two slots, or three. I think it should take two or three slots. That'd make it fair. Crypto Town Takeover. Now he's got a big ass satellite, looks kind of dumb. Let's see. Crypto is taking over, providing a small re recon to the King's Canyon, located southeast of the map, under Rip Repulsor, or Repulsor. Lies Crypto's map room. Use the hot, uses tech to get to the location of all legends on the map and check the screen scattered around the room to see as many enemy squads are nearby. Oh, okay. Oh, I took apart the gas station. Okay. All right, well, this is kind of cool, but I think what would have been a better idea is being able to change the map or being able to change the storm. Now, I talked about this with Martin in one of my streams. I won't find it because I have a shitload of streams. So my idea for crypto was crypto should have the ability to hack, um, should be able to hack Pathfinder's beacon, you know, look, you know, to get a more better, you know, knowledge of where the map is going. But because he has his little satellite thing, I think respawn should have gave him the ability to change the storm's direction, not change it. Like, let's say it's going to end at, um, let's say it's going to end at the, the airport. So, the storm's about to end at the airport, right? Let's say Crypto should be able to go go to a respawn beacon, or a respawn beacon, go to the tower, of course, or a regular survey beacon, and be able to shift the storm in another direction, but because he shifted the storm, the storm should go back to where it was originally going, like the airport, but it'll go much faster and much stronger. So like, let's say you guys are trapped somewhere and you're trying to get to that area, but you can't because the storm took it over. I think you guys should be able to do that if you're crypto. But it should take his, uh, it should be, it should take like a long time, you know? Well, anyways, here's Heirloom's Mirage. It's kind of funny. All right, here we go. Updates, Lifeline, her passive, nothing. Combat Revive now replaces Combat Medic. Deploy Doc to revive teammates. Doc will deploy a shield and revive the lifeline's teammate, leaving lifeline free to defend or revive someone else. This fully replaces lifeline's old passive, including fast heal. I don't like that. I don't like that they took away the fast heal because they took it off of the backpack, didn't they? So... That's kind of stupid that they took that out. I think they should have kept the, the, you know, this is okay. Making the robot being able to revive somebody on its own while she defends it. But if she is healing the person, like if she's going to heal somebody else, I think she should have keep the fast heal. That's kind of gay. Pretty lame. Her tactical, lifeline's tactical cooldown is now 45 seconds and it was. Um... Uh... 
I guess I'm okay with that. I mean, let's be, let's face it. A lot of lifeline people I play with, they suck with her. They don't, they don't drop her health drone when they pick somebody up. And they, they're not very communicative. So, from my experience, lifeline players do not know how to do their job. Her ultimate lifeline's care package now contains more items. Care package will contain three times more small healing items when it decides to spawn small healing items. Care packages will contain two times more attachments when it decides to spawn attachments. Um, I'm not really crazy about this one. But, I mean, I guess it's okay. I mean, three times more healing items. But what if it's something unnecessary, you know? But I guess that's how her care package works. High risk, high reward. So, eh. I guess it's okay. We'll see what happens. Octane here. It's tactical. Upon activation, stim will remove movement impairing effects. That is actually good. That is good. It's kind of stupid though because... Okay. From Titanfall 2, the stim, it heals you while you run fast. But in this game, it hurts Octane, but he runs fast. So... Uh, an allure point of view, I think that's wrong. Only because... Okay. It re that means if he runs through Caustic's gas, or runs through an Arc Star, or runs through a Thermite, it's not gonna stop him. He's gonna keep going. That's, but you know, if his tactic, if the stim was healing him, that would make sense. But because it doesn't heal him, it doesn't make sense. So, yeah. But I think that's cool. That's a, I, I accept it. I mean, it is an adrenaline shot, so it does also make sense that, you know, when your adrenaline is rushing, fucking pro a bully probably can't stop you. Stim sprinting speed increased by 10%. That's pretty fast. He's already one of the fastest characters in the game, and they freaking... They nerfed Bangalore with her double time. So... But you know what? I think this is well-deserved. But he's gonna be incredibly fast. Now his ultimate players can now double jump in midair after using Octane's launch pad. That's actually cool. That's fair. Because, you know, theoretically... The jump pad is pushing you. So you have that extra jump. They should have had double jump in this game a long time ago. I mean, they're wearing jump pads. I mean, they're wearing a... What do you call it? They're wearing the pilot gear. That gear was meant to make them jump. That's why they can handle fall, uh, falls from great heights. Now, players can change directly or direction easily from double jump. I don't know how that's very effective. Wouldn't it slow you down? Ah, but then again, the jump kit pushes you. That's what I meant. The pilot's kit is a jump kit. I think that's a cool idea because let's say we're all running. Obviously, Octane's in front of us. Puts a jump pad down. We each jump a different direction. But I think it's useless if team members split up like that. But eh, maybe in a sticky situation, it'll work. Now let's go with Revenue. Tactical. We'll now cancel Pathfinder's mid grapple. Okay, that's good. Raise some phase walk attempts before phase walk activates. I don't remember ever seeing that at all, but I guess that's good if it really stops her in her tracks. So that's good. We'll now prevent Mirage Cloak Revive. Oh, good. Mirage Decoy Control Activation. All right. Lifeline's Combat Revive. Okay, good. That's good. Wow, they're making Revenant really nasty here. His ultimate range removed from death totem oh that's fucking bullshit if they're gonna do that they might as well put him back to uh, one health like they did in the other game. right that means that he can if i can give an example let's say uh let's say we're at the geyser right we're over there in the in the small little sector of the geyser where you can go into the cave close to the to you know that cave right there where the loop chamber is you put a death totem there and you could run into the cave and go fight off the people who are trying to get the loot. You're just going to end up going right back out to the geyser into that those little houses that are in the... Uh, I know there's no corner in a circle, but level with me. The circle is the corner right there. That's kind of... I like it, but I don't like it. I only like it because now you can go further from the death totem. But it's kind of overpowering now because... From my experience fighting people at death totems, they're still alive and they still take me out. So honestly, I think if they're gonna give that to if they're gonna give that to Revenant, they need to go back to 
that uh, point of the game where they only had just their health lower. You know, that's all they had it was just low health and full shield. Extremely low health, like one hit will kill them. So I'm okay with it, I guess. But it sucks. Crypto is tactical. Deploying hack his drone now takes 1.5 seconds and from 2.5. That's good. Because for some stupid reason, it took so long just to throw a stupid robot or drone. His ultimate EMP will disable Watson's pylons. <sighs> I guess that's fair because he's hacking. So I guess that's fair. Loba, her tactical. Burglar's best friend will no longer be intercepted by Watson's interception pylon. That's kind of dumb. It's dumb, but it makes sense. Because her uh, her bracelet is just a... Uh, it's a form of movement. So it's not technically an ordinance. So that is cool. That I mean, that's understandable. But the pylon should also be able to destroy... Um, should also be able to destroy fucking caustic. Caustic's little gas balls, the, the gas uh, traps, that should be destroyed. His ultimate can be destroyed, but not those. Ultimate. Black market bouquet. Or mango bouquet. Is it bouquet? Will only, will now only pick one, uh, pick up one stack of ammo rather than one stack plus the amount that required to fill whatever partial stack you had in your inventory. Huh. I guess that's good. I don't know. I don't really care for Lola. Ultimate accelerants now give 20% alt charge up from 17.5%. Eh, okay. That's okay. I guess. Hmm. Mirage is tactical. You can hold the tactical button and release it to auto control decoys. Decoys will stay lines when shot. Oh, okay. Cool. Passive wind cloaked mirage hollow emitters will vis will be visible to players who are at least five meters away. Uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about that one. I mean, yeah, I guess so. You know what? Whatever is easier to kill him. Yeah, because he's really overpowered. You know. Skydive. You create decoys from an entire squad when skydiving. Oh, that's cool. That means uh, there's gonna be six of us, so you can trick another squad. Oh shit, there's another squad over there. Ah, but they'll know. Because your decoys go faster than you. That's dumb. Gibraltar, he only, he only got one. Fast heal granted inside dome shield. Slowed down 25% faster, is now 15% faster. That's good. I, I like that. Caustic, enemies can cancel Caustic's barrel by shooting it before it's fully inflated. That is good. Because you, he was able to just throw it on the floor, and before it deployed, he just shot it, and it, you know, ignited. So the fact that he has to wait for it now, that's great. Here comes Watson. Please give her something good. The intent of these changes is to create openings where enemies can breach Watson's positions. Oh my gosh. That means all these little bitches were complaining about they can't get past her. It is still impossible for Watson players to hold a position with... With a trophy, infinite, infinity, infinitely, but the but should come to a cost of using ultimate accelerants. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Watson's polyons now last 90 seconds. How much? 60 seconds is one minute. Add that, it's 120. So it lasts for a minute and like 30 seconds. Wait, wait. Yeah. So it lasts a minute and 30 seconds. Watson can now have up to three polyons at a time. That was never really useful for me. Watson can stack two ultimate accelerants per inventory slot. Okay, that's cool. That's all they're doing for her? That's so stupid. No, that is stupid, dude. How come they don't give her the ability to fucking throw her, her offenses like a disc? Fucking respawn, man. They suck, dude. So now I don't have polyons lasting that long. That is fucking dumb. You could get... Nobody seems to understand that if there's a caustic in the game, he would destroy Watson. But damn, man. All because you guys can't get near her. I can get in... Oh, man, that's stupid. I can get in there like nothing. Name any character in the game, I'll get past all enemy Watson. Like nothing. They're just trying to make her weaker because you know what? She's S tier. A lot of people don't know this, but Watson is like the best player when it comes to, uh, or 
best character when it comes to uh, competitive. <sighs> Fucking bitches, man. Ah, uh, here comes Wraith. Increasing Wraith's tactical cooldown has proven to be ineffective at curbing her accidentally exced- high win rate and kill rate. These changes are meant to dis sensitize Wraith players by using phase walk as a get out of jail free card oh thank goodness and move it to more re- reposting and scouting ability thank you finally you Wraith players are going to be put in your place the only reason why you're good is because you're using a character that's basically hard to hit ah, what a bitch then she should not be in the soul phase walk phase walk now takes 1.25 seconds to enable that's good it was 4 seconds during this time, Wraith will receive 20% move slower. Ha ha! That means she's no longer that quick. Good. Does not affect phase walk while placing the portals. Okay. While in phase walk, Wraith gets 30% move speed boost. Eh, yeah, fine. Uh, while in phase walk, Wraith can now see other players while in the void. Stupid! She shouldn't be able to! She shouldn't be able to do that. That's dumb. In the freaking lore of the game, she wasn't able to see other people. She only saw other people from a different universe. So why would she be able to see us if she's in a different universe? You know what I'm saying? Like, watch the trailer. When she goes into a portal, she just sees her past or other universe selves. Basically, the universe selves that failed. Now she can see enemies through that? That's bullshit, because that's a different universe. How would she be able to see it? In Titanfall 2, when you phased out, there was nobody around. But if you phased with another pilot who did phase, you did see him. That's fucking dumb. Come on, Respawn. You didn't get your lure right. Or maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. Phase walk cooldown is now to 25 from 35 seconds. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that they made it smaller for her. But whatever. I mean, if they think this will help, I don't I think some of it's helping with the rest of it. No. Phase tunnel, whatever. Decrease the distance of portal placement. Oh, okay, cool. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Now, yeah, Wraith needed a good Yeah, she needed a good debuff. Weapons of loose zip lines. A cooldown is applied to re-grappling zip lines without touching the ground. Oh, that is great. I ran into players who just jump on zip lines and they keep jumping around and jumping around for us hard to hit them. I'm so glad they got rid of that. The cooldown will be increased each time a player disconnects from regret. Oh, good. Cooldown will reset when a player touches the ground. Yes. That's great. Fucking little bitches. Havoc rifle greatly decreased horizontal recoil in initial shots of, of a burst. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's good for me. I don't really care because that gun, I got used to it. Decreased magazine size from 32 to 28. Uh, I don't like that. I guess people are really, really sad and bitchy about that game or about that gun. I mean, it is powerful. Sentinel, rechamber time, 1.75 to 1.6. That's good. The gun does reload kind of um, slow. Energized duration is 90 to 120 seconds. Ooh, that's good too. Because sometimes, ugh. What is cool? Teammates can now ping friendly caustic traps, okay? New health bar for when users are in Revenant's shadow form. I don't know why that's necessary. Map rotation times are now even between King's Canyon and World Dates. What? Oh, okay, that, that makes sense. Bugs. Fix an issue with railing not to... Fix the issues with some railing not to be climbable. Okay, fix an issue with being unable to mute a squad. I don't care about that. Remove more exploited spots against Prowlers and Bloodhound TT. What? Fix the issues of low spawning in unreachable places in both King Canyon's world. Let's fix an issue where players are being able to move at walk speed when down. Fix an issue with Prowlers not killing Mirage decoys in one swipe. That's stupid. They should be able to. Fix an issue with ninja controller layouts and death boxes. What? I don't understand that ninja part. Fix an issue with you got a treasure pack message appearing after in the match. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Crypto. Fix uses crypto's drone flying without input and users started to spring by using the double tap to spring option. I'm not gonna read all that. It's kind of wait. Would they fix a race? Race fix issues not being able to heal after getting knocked down. Hmm. All right. Well, that's well, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the buffs for the characters. I don't really care for anything else. Well, I'm kind of liking it. I'm just di I'm just disappointed that they they really fucked with Watson. How is it that they wanted to make Watson fair? That's kind of stupid, man. I, I mean, the Polyon is okay. I can under I can understand the one minute and thirty seconds that they want to get rid of it, only because you know if it's there, people are gonna know it's there, and you know when they're trying to get in there, you're throwing grenades and shit, but the polyon's destroying it, so there's really no way to get in it. And if you were smart, the only time you're ever gonna use the polyons is when you know there's a Gibraltar coming in, so. Or Bangalore. Oh no, actually Gibraltar. Bangalore, you'd be a little too late. Your Polyon would have to be on the ground before Bangalore throws her, uh, before her rockets come down. Because if you throw the Polyon while the rockets are already down, it doesn't, it doesn't destroy them because the rockets are already on the floor. So I'm digging it, kinda. I just wish they gave Watson the ability to throw her fucking fences. Uh, but I know what people will say. Oh, she's already that powerful. Like, dude, fuck off, man. So they didn't do anything with Bangalore or Pathfinder. So that's good, I guess. Well, anyways, I just wanted to make this. This is probably a long video. So let me know what you guys think. Comments, Instagram, I don't care. Follow me on whatever. Check me out on everything. Because I'm better than Jess. I'm better than Martine. I'm better than Dexter. Fuck you, race players. You guys suck.